हेलो फ्रेंड्स अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज फेज लॉक लूप और इन शॉर्ट पी एल एल फॉर द डिमोडिलेशन ऑफ एफ एम बी पी एल एल इज वाइडली यूज टूडे बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स लो कॉस्ट एंड सुपीरियर परफॉर्मेंस स्पेशली इन द सिचुएशन ऑफ लो सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशियो पी एल एल इज अ सिंपल क्लोज लूप फीडबैक सिस्टम इन प्रैक्टिस phase lock loop is widely used as indirect frequency demodulation as well as carrier synchronization and on the basis of designing pll consists of voltage controlled oscillator multiplier and loop filter that is a low pass type the main function of voltage controlled oscillator is to perform frequency modulation on its own signal that is called control signal the output of vco is multiplied by the incoming fm wave with the help of multiplier the output of the multiplier that is called error signal and it contains both low frequency and high frequency components and by using loop filter that is a low pass type removes the high frequency component and allow to pass only low frequency component and this low frequency component correspond to the modulating or message signal now we discuss pll in brief with the help of equations before this we assume that the voltage control oscillator is adjusted in such a way that when the input vt called control signal is zero two conditions must be satisfied first is the frequency of vco that is called free running frequency must be set to the carrier frequency and the second is the output of vco that is rt has a 90 degree phase shift as compared to unmodulated carrier frequency in phase lock loop the main function of vco is modulation process here vco generate its own fm wave using control signal vt that is called locally generated fm this locally generated fm denoted by rt is multiplied by the incoming fm wave that is given by st and it is equals to ac sin 2 pi fct plus 51t where 51t equals to 2 pi kf integration m tau d tau here ac is called carrier amplitude and kf is called frequency sensitivity of the modulator that is responsible for the generation of fm now as voltage control oscillator generates its own fm wave that is called locally generated fm and denoted by rt that is equals to a suffix v cos within bracket 2 pi fct plus phi 2t where phi 2t is equals to 2 pi kv integration v tau d tau here v tau is called control voltage also a suffix v is simply an amplitude and kv is the amplitude sensitivity factor of the voltage control oscillator so the incoming fm wave and locally generated fm get multiplied with the help of multiplier and produces an error signal that is e function of t now we note a point the main function of feedback loop that contains a vco is to adjust the angle phi to t such that it becomes equals to phi 1t so the main function of feedback loop is to adjust the angle phi to t equals to phi 1t now the output of the multiplier is error signal which is equals to ac sin 2 pi fct plus phi 1t into av cos within bracket 2 pi fct plus phi 2t here the first expression is incoming fm wave and the second one is the locally generated fm wave so here we have product of two function that is sin and cos function so we can use formula sin a cos b that is equals to 1 upon 2 within bracket sin a minus b plus sin a plus b and after using this we get error signal 
that is ET equals to AC AV upon 2 within bracket sin phi 1 minus phi 2 plus sin within bracket 4 pi FCT plus phi 1 plus phi 2. And here we introduce a multiplier gain which is equals to 1 upon 2 and call it K suffix M. So, in place of 1 upon 2, we can write k suffix m that is called multiplier gain. And after this arrangement, we have two terms. First term corresponds to phi 1 minus phi 2. That is called low frequency component because it is the difference frequency term. And the second is 4 pi FCT plus phi 1 plus phi 2. That is called high frequency component because it has double frequency of 4 times of Fc. As the multiplier output contains both high and low frequency terms and our interest is only in the low frequency term because the loop filter is a low pass type. After neglecting high frequency component, we have low frequency error signal that is equals to Km AC AB sin phi suffix E where phi suffix e is equals to phi 1 minus phi 2. And in place of phi 2, we can write 2 pi kv integration v tau d tau. So, by using this error signal, we have a condition. When phase error angle is equals to 0 radian, the PLL is said to be phase locked. Also, when the phase error angle phi e is less than 1 radian, the PLL is said to be in near phase lock. So, on the basis of this approximation, we can write sine phi e is approximately equals to phi e. That is called approximate value of phase error angle. And this approximation is valid or accurate within 4% provided that the error angle is less than 0.5 radian. So, the approximate form of error signal is given as ET equals to Km AC AV into phi E. And here we introduce a new parameter of PLL called loop gain parameter denoted by K0 and its value is Km KV AC into AV. So, accordingly, error signal in terms of loop gain parameter is given by ET equals to K0 upon KV into phi E. And now, this approximate error signal is applied to the loop filter and it produces an output V function of T. For this, let us consider this loop filter as a type of LTI system with impulse response HT. And we know that the output of any LTI system is given by the convolution of input signal and impulse response. So, for PLL, output VT equals to convolution of error signal and impulse response HT. And its formula is integration E tau HT minus tau D tau with limit tau equals to minus infinity to infinity. And this equation constitute a linearized feedback model of PLL. So, in order to get output VT, we consider loop filter as LTI system. Also, in phase lock mode, the error angle is equals to 0. And in near phase lock, the error angle must be less than 1 radian. Now again, we consider an error signal that is E function of T equals to K0 upon KV into phi suffix E. Here phi E is equals to phi 1 minus phi 2. Where phi 1 is the angle of the incoming FM wave and phi 2 is the angle of the locally generated FM wave in voltage control oscillator. And since there is a negative sign with phi 2 that is feedback phase angle, so, we can say that there is a negative feedback of closed loop PLL system. Also, the output of PLL is given by the equation which represent linearized feedback model. So, we can use the linear feedback theory. 
according to this theory when the open loop transfer function of linear feedback system has a large magnitude compared to unity then the closed loop transfer function of the system is effectively determined by the inverse of the transfer function of the feedback path so to explain this we assume a negative feedback amplifier having mu as transfer function of forward path and beta as transfer function of feedback path and the gain of this negative feedback amplifier is capital a equals to mu upon 1 plus mu beta and according to linear feedback theory as open loop transfer function that is mu beta is greater than 1 then the approximate gain of the system is 1 upon beta here 1 is neglected as compared to mu beta and accordingly mu is cancelled and we have inverse of the transfer function of feedback path that is 1 upon beta now we are going to apply this theory on our pll model for this we represent linearized feedback equation using block diagram that is shown in figure there is a negative feedback because we know that the error angle phi e is given by phi1 minus phi2 where phi1 is the angle of the incoming fm wave and phi2 is the angle of locally generated fm wave in voltage control oscillator so there is a negative sign with phi2 and we have a negative feedback system and according to the equation the angle phi2 is equals to 2 pi kv integration v tau d tau here v tau is the control signal so in pll feedback path having voltage control oscillator and here to get angle phi2 we take transfer function as integration of d tau with limit 0 to t in this the input signal is vt that is a control signal so the output of this transfer function is integration of v tau d tau with a limit of 0 to t and after multiplying with 2 pi into kv we get 2 pi kv integration of v tau d tau that is the value of phase angle phi2 next for the forward path error signal is equals to k0 upon kv into phi1 minus phi2 and according to the given equation here k0 is called loop gain parameter and its value is km into kv ac into av so as angle of error signal that is phi e equals to phi1 minus phi2 and after multiplying with k0 upon kv we get error signal that is k0 upon kv into phi1 minus phi2 also in forward path there is a loop filter with impulse response ht and output of this loop filter is the convolution of input error signal and impulse response ht and here the main function of the feedback loop is to adjust angle phi2 equals to phi1 in order to get zero error signal so for the linearized feedback model we observe three points first point is the feedback path is a scale integrator and according to the theorem the inverse of this feedback path is described by the scaled differentiator that is in time domain so the approximate output vt is equals to 1 upon 2 pi kv into d phi2 upon dt where phi2 is equals to 2 pi kv integration of v tau d tau so the feedback path get inverse and we have differentiation of phi2 second point is in pll the feedback loop adjust angle phi2 equals to phi1 so we can say that the closed loop behavior in pll in time domain is described by the overall output v function of t and this output is produced by the incoming fm wave with phase angle phi1 so the approximate form of pll model is shown in figure here the output vt is produced according to the incoming fm wave having phase angle phi1 
सो आफ्टर एडजस्टिंग फाइव वन इक्वल टू फाइव टू वी गेट आउटपुट वी टी अकॉर्डिंग टू द फेज एंगल फाइव वन एंड इन अप्रोक्सीमेट फॉर्म ऑफ पी एल एल मॉडल वी एज्यूम दैट द लूप गेन दैट इज के नॉट इज ग्रेटर देन वन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द थर्ड पॉइंट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय द लूप गेन पैरामीटर दैट इज के नॉट एंड इट इज इक्वल टू के एम इंटू के वी ए सी इंटू ए वी सो आफ्टर ऑब्जर्विंग दीज थ्री पॉइंट्स we have linearized model of pll in this the loop gain parameter is used to adjust the angle phi 2 equals to phi 1 and this happens when we take loop gain parameter k not far greater than 1 so when k not is greater than 1 and under this condition the phase error angle phi e tends to 0 and we get phi 1 equals to phi 2 and after phase adjustment we relate overall output vt by the approximate formula in terms of phi 1 that is v function of t equals to 1 upon 2 pi kv into d phi 1 upon dt and according to this equation the closed loop transfer function of pll is effectively determined by the inverse of the transfer function of feedback path now in place of phi 1 we can write 2 pi kf integration of m tau d tau so differentiation and integration cancelled also 2 pi is cancelled out and we get vt equals to kf upon kv into mt so here output vt is directly proportional to scaled message signal so in order to recover original message signal except scaling factor kf upon kv PLL must operate in phase lock or near phase lock mode with a very large loop gain parameter k not compared to one radian 